Beady Bear by Don Freeman, read by Grandpa Tom. Beady was a fuzzy toy bear who belonged to a boy named Thayer. Hide and seek was their favorite fun. From time to time, Beady would suddenly stop and topple over. Kerplop! He'd come unwound. Then Thayer would always go find him and take his key and gently wind him. Once Beady was all wound up, he wanted to keep on playing. And yet when Thayer went to bed, Beady knew he ought to too. One winter's day, Thayer went away. Just when he'd be back, he didn't say. Being all alone for the first time, Beady amused himself by looking at a book. ABC Animal Book B is for Bear, an animal brave who lives in a cave. Why hasn't anybody told me this before? said Beady sadly to himself. I wonder if there'd be a cave for me away up in those hills. Taking a long look through Thayer's shiny telescope, he searched the side of the hill until he spied... A cave. So he left a note. I have gone to live where a bear is supposed to live. Beady. Up the hill he climbed and climbed. At last. He could hardly believe his beady eyes. It was just his size. A perfect place for a bear like me sighed Beady. And yet it's awfully dark and stilly here inside, and a wee bit chilly, really. That night Beady couldn't sleep a wink. It's because of these sharp stones, I think. There's something I need here to make me truly happy. I wonder what it could be. Oh, I know. And up he got, and out he trotted down the snowy hillside to his house far below. And what should he bring back but his very own little pillow? This is more like it, said Beady as he bedded down for the rest of the night. But there still seems to be something missing. So down the hill he trotted again and brought back, of all things, a flashlight. But as soon as he settled down, he knew there was something more a bear needed to be truly happy. What good is a light without something to read? said Beady. The evening papers, indeed. Now what more could a bear ask for? Well, after reading all the papers... Beady began to worry and wonder. Maybe it's some toys I need. At this very moment he heard a loud noise outside. It's a bear, said Beady. I must be brave. This is probably his cave. The noise grew louder and louder as Beady moved along, ever so slowly and shakily. Suddenly he came to a stop. And over he toppled, kerplop. Who's there? cried Beady upside down. It's me, Thayer. I'm looking for my bear. But from inside the cave now came not a sound. Beady was much too embarrassed, lying there on the ground. Well, hello, Beady boy. I thought I'd find you in this place. That's why I brought along your key, just in case. For goodness sakes, Beady, don't you know you need a key? And me? Yes, but if I need you, who do you need? I need Beady. So down the hill to home they went, paw in hand and hand in paw. And when Beady went to bed that night, he was truly the happiest bear you ever saw. The end.